Action News. This is WXYZ 7 Action News, 6 p.m. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Kayla Clifford in for Diana Lewis. And I'm Guy Gordon. Some pet owners in Pontiac may be forced to choose between keeping their dogs and staying in their hometown. A new spinning ordinance is tracking down on pit bulls. And our top story is live in Pontiac tonight with Channel 7 National News reporter Christy McDonald. Christy? Oh, Guy, if you live in Pontiac and you plan on buying a pit bull, you can forget about it. According to an ordinance that's just out today, it bans people from getting dog licenses for pit bulls. Now, pit bull owners and breeders say that's just ridiculous, judging an entire breed on a couple of incidents. Can you sit? Can you sit down? Can you sit? Wow, look at you. Kane is almost two years old. He's an American Staffordshire Terrier, otherwise known as a pit bull. He's been living with owner Benjamin Harder in Pontiac for four months. And he's always been really just very friendly. He loves to play kissy face. He, uh, um, he loves to play catch and all that. But Kane is a type of dog not wanted in Pontiac. As of today, a new ordinance bans residents from buying and licensing pit bulls. For people who already have the dogs, they can keep them, but there are new rules. The dogs have to be tattooed with an ID number. They also have to wear a muzzle. Pit bulls now have to be kept in pens with walls, or at least with fences, one foot into the ground. And owners would have to carry $100,000 worth of liability insurance. Benjamin believes pit bulls are unfairly targeted. It's all in how they're raised. Uh, they have a bad name because a lot of people have a tendency to buy them because they want to fight them, and then they don't take care of them. According to the ordinance, pit bulls pose a risk to health and safety of the community. While Benjamin doesn't believe that, he'll comply with the law if that means he can keep tame. Um, I wonder how many city council members own pit bulls. If they did, I don't think that they would uh, that they would be going through with this. The last incident Pontiac had with pit bulls was just about three weeks ago. Nineteen pit bulls were confiscated from a, from a home. Police believe they were used for fighting. Reporting live in Pontiac, I'm Christy McDonald, Channel 7 Action News. Oakland County prosecutors have a bizarre murder on their hands. And